Rustam to India's indigenous attack drone maiden flight. When Indian armed forces are increasingly looking outside the country for drones, Israel being a top destination, the Aeronautical Development Establishment, ADE, a defense research and development lab marred by delays and faults is readying Rustam 2, a long-endurance unmanned combat air vehicle, UCAV, for its first flight. The first flight of the drone, which is in the medium altitude, long endurance, attack with missiles, category of vehicles mail drone, was first scheduled in late 2013. A three year delay to conduct the first flight only adds to the timeline, which is punctuated by other delays during development. Aid Director MVKV Prasat, along with other top officials from the Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, visited their facility in Chalag Ia, about 200 km from Bangalore on Monday, where the first flight will happen. More than two sources in the aeronautical development establishment said that the director was there to oversee the ongoing preparations for the maiden flight of Rustam II bagging orders for which is a priority for aeronautical development establishment, as the Ministry of Defense already has contracts signed with Israeli companies and talks on procuring some combat drones from the U.S. are ongoing. The entire team is working on it with full force, the first flight is likely soon, but I cannot comment on the date at this juncture, Prasat told Toy News, confirming the developments. However, even if the first flight, which is likely to happen in the coming week or the next is successful, Rustam 2 will need at least another year before it gets the required certification. Still not confident about the project, the aeronautical development establishment has remained tight-lipped about the project with no official comments offered on it. Former Aeronautical Development Establishment Director P. Srikuma had told Toy News earlier that the Rustam II will be an aircraft unlike any other UAV in the ranks of our forces. It has a wingspan of more than 20 meters and an endurance of 24-30 hours. He had said that the drone, equipped with contemporary technology, will need a runway to take off and land unlike traditional UAV which makes it more trustworthy. Compared to Rustam I, the advanced version will have enhanced aerodynamic configuration, digital flight control and navigation system. It will also have automatic takeoff and landing capabilities. This version of Rustam is comparable to some of the best in the world, sources in aeronautical development establishment said. While the aide hopes to bag orders from all the three wings of the armed forces, Army, Navy and the Air Force, its ability to stick to deadlines and also give a good quality platform will be key. Thank you for watching. Please share, like, comment, and subscribe.